I didn't set out to write what's called women's music, but apparently I did. It's music that speaks certainly to a woman's heart. Sometimes I look back and remember so clearly those early days when we first moved into the studios and started gathering women from all over the world to begin to play this thing called women's music, which as far as I'm concerned made Christian made up. To this day, when people pick that album up, and they don't know anything about the women's music or me, or they don't have any of that groundwork, any of that attachment. It's like a portal through which they go. And when they go through it, something happens to them that's like a magnetic transference. What I love about this particular album is that it remains mysterious to me, its effect on people. And it isn't just grounded in time zone in which it was born in those 70s. Yes, it came out of that. And I think I set up, I mean, music's nothing more than vibration, really. We know that. And beyond vibration, there is nothing. So apparently I set up the vibration just right so that in each song, from piece to piece to piece, and as it goes, it's like a little journey that they take. It still happens to this day. I only played one guitar song on Changer, and the change, it's a country tune. I mean, the whole, there isn't much backstory, really. It's the I'm so sad you left me country song. But it has a tiny bit of tongue in cheek in it, in the, uh, this part on the guitar, which is just, me telling me, don't get too serious about this. Don't be too darn sad. Tuning Star, when you hear it on the Changer album, it just gallops, man, it just shoots. It just can't help itself. You can hardly rein it in. I did write it driving, just like it says, uh, driving through the desert, heading towards LA. And I put the top up and rain was just pounding. And it provided the rhythm and the rhythm of the road. And as songwriters, you know that. The rhythms are everywhere. If you're on a train and you're writing a song, it's going to take the rhythm of the train. It will uh, absorb, you know, and this was the rhythm of, of the road and the rain and, and all of that and my urgency to get to L.A. Yeah, but I can always do anything from the changer and the change because that whole premise, the title, holds true. That I was changed. I'm endlessly changed every day. And as such, I try to put, and an artist, I try to put that back out in the world so that everyone can become that too. I'm not the only one. You know, I've never claimed to be it. I just let it come through me. The way I heard this song beginning was with a hymn that was my favorite hymn as a child. Open my eyes that I may see glimpses of truth thou hast for me. Open my eyes, illumine me. See. Come to your life like a warrior, nothing will bore you. You can be happy. At the time to tell lesbians that they could be happy was revolutionary. I didn't know it. <laughs> I just thought it's a simple thing. You can be happy or unhappy. It's not about who you love. It's about your nature. It's about your soul. This is a song of the soul. And um, that was the song of my soul at the time. It just came pour it out in the most beautiful way. Sweet Woman was a, a love letter written to me um, by my girlfriend at the time. And, and it, I've heard tales from women who say, I, I almost drove off the road because all of a sudden it hit me. This was a, a song about loving a woman, sung by a woman. And it just hit people so powerfully. 
And you know, I just, I'm, I was so innocent at the time. I just thought, well, you love who you love, you know, what's the big deal? <laughs> and people said to me, you know, it's illegal. I went, what? <laughs> I had no idea. A lot of these songs came out of a pure kind of innocence on my part and a pondering endlessly, as I do now, of the human condition. That's what interests me, how it is that we are caught between the devils and the angels. And somewhere in this strange middle ground, we've got to figure it out. Just won't let me be.